Hi YouTube, it's Tamika and I'm here to report in on my progress from week three being post-op from the advanced surgery. So yesterday was my official three week mark and um, I'll get straight to the numbers and share the fact that I did not lose any weight last week. Um, I think there were um, uh, quite a few contributing factors um, but the primary one is in my mind, I've thought about this long and hard, I was going to make the video yesterday and I had to think about it a little bit. Um, but I think what happened was when my doctor said, okay, now you're free to move to stage three, the first phase of stage three soft foods, I took that to believe in my mind that anything I put in my mouth that I chew up really well was going to be soft. I know that's not soft food. Um, I know that he specifically said eggs and soft cheeses and deli meats and things like that. So last week when I decided to eat a little bit of turkey and a little bit of ham um, that wasn't sliced thin uh, and a little bit of cornbread dressing probably and sweet potatoes and all of those things. Um, that had sugar, that was made of bread, um, and all of that, I think sort of derailed me a little bit. Um, I know for sure that my carb monster and my sugar monster woke up, um, and I found myself, as my kids started making cookies, and as they started making cakes, I just wanted just a little nibble, um, and, and I just completely got off track. So, that was last week, and I'm moving forward. Um, I decided that I know for sure I need to put movement into my day, at least 30 minutes I need to commit to um, exercise, and I'm doing that. I started the couch to 5K this weekend, um, excited about that. Yesterday I actually went on like video on demand for my cable, and I went to the fitness TV portion, and I found a hip-hop dance um, workout. Now, I don't know how to dance, so um, that was kind of fun. My 11-year-old did it with me, so that was fun. And I also walked yesterday morning with my grandmother. So I'll continue to do those types of things and incorporate exercise into my life um, little by little until I get to the point where, um, you know, it just becomes second nature. The other thing that I decided to do was pull out the binder. I talked about the binder before that um, I got when I first started uh, the bariatric program for my insurance. And <clears throat> there is a section in here that talks about nutrition. And it specifically says once you start stage three, um, what types of food I should be eating. I know you probably can't see this, but what types of food I should be eating and then they also give me a sample menu and so for stage three the sample for breakfast is an eighth a cup of cottage cheese and one small pear with no skin another uh, sample for breakfast is one poached egg one to two tablespoons of cheese and a fourth of a small banana for lunch one to two ounces of tuna with low fat mayo and two saltine crackers. Another example is a fourth a cup of cottage cheese and one to two slice peach, peach slices. Um, and then for dinner, one ounce of deli sliced meat, one ounce cheese, one to two teaspoons of cream cheese, and one to two crackers. Now, the interesting part about this, oh, and let me give you the last sample for dinner. It's one to two ounces of fish, um, a half to one ounce of cheese, and an eighth a cup of vegetables. Those eighth cups, those are really small amounts. So I have been trying to focus on eating a half a cup of food. And um, that's what I've really been trying to stick to. So again, I pulled this out. I am going to try to follow these samples and build some other um, sort of menus based on the information that's in here. There's food lists of what we can eat and what we can't eat and all of those good things. So I'm going to start back uh, sort of from scratch 
and go back to things that I learned when I was taking classes and try to figure out how I can get myself um, focused. Now, I don't want to send the message that I just started eating any and everything that I wanted outside of the cornbread dressing that I had on Thanksgiving. I haven't had any bread. I haven't had any um, pastas or any rice or anything like that. I don't drink while I eat. So I'm sticking to the rules for the most part. It's just I think mentally for me, I was thrown off when I saw that the scale didn't move. Um, you know, I've had some issues with um, not having enough fiber. One, two, three diet. Dr. Pepper recommended Miralax. And so I did pick some of that up, I think either that day or the next day. And so that's been helping a little bit. I also picked up some juices. I picked up some prune juice and I picked up um, a plum juice. It's a smart balance or something like that. It's for digestive health. And that actually really helped me a lot. I picked up some um, V8 Splash, um, the light versions though, because I have 50% less sugar and calories. So I picked those up and I've been trying to incorporate those into my diet. I'm still um, diluting it, three parts water, one part juice, um, because those are the rules for me. So I have my goal for the week. My goal is to make sure that I'm getting movement um, at least 30 minutes a day so I'll report back in next week to let you guys know if I've done that yesterday I did do it I was successful yesterday um, Monday and so moving forward I'll just keep track of the exercise that I'm getting in every day and um, I won't look at last week anymore except for um, looking at the things that I learned and I'll just keep moving forward and I'm hoping that everybody else does the same thing because it's hard to, um, in the beginning parts of, of lap band, because I'm not a person who has, I know for sure I don't have any fluid in my band, and I don't have super duper restriction. Um, once I get to a half cup, or if I go a little over that, I do feel like, you know, I'm full. But three times a day is not necessarily keeping me to the point where I feel like I'm completely satisfied. Um, and if anybody has any suggestions on that, I'd be open to hearing what you guys were doing, maybe around um, week three or so. So, that's all I have for now. I hope everybody else is doing great. I've been watching your videos, learning a lot, keep posting, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, so I want to tell you guys something really quick. Last time I went to the doctor for my two-week post-op, the appointment schedule was not open for me to get my fill, which was supposed to be six weeks after my surgery. And so that really should be December 21st. And I said, well, when the appointment schedule op opens up, we'll send you an appointment. And so I'm sitting here, sitting here, and I'm thinking, okay, that's really close to Christmas. Let me call them. And so I just call, and she goes, oh, um, well, Dr. Lee, he's going to be out of the office for the last two weeks of December. So... And uh, January's calendar hasn't opened up yet. I said, January? What about the week before? Do you think that I could possibly come in the week before? And she goes, hold on. And she goes and she comes back. And I said, you know what? Before she even said anything, I said, I will starve to death. <laughs> I will starve to death if you make me wait until January 2010. I need a bill. And so she goes, we have Friday the 18th at 11.15. So, woohoo! I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited because I promised I was going to starve to death.